All right, this is the official text from the Rays Act, and uh, I gotta say, I can't really complain that much about it. I don't really have much to complain about with this. I don't think that immigrants should be able to just suddenly get on welfare. I bet no. Uh, to me, there should be at least a, 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 they should at least have to be here for a, quite a long time before they can do that. They should be having to work towards citizenship, full citizenship, uh, in in order, you know in order for that to even start to happen. I, I don't think people should be able to come here and suddenly take from the government when, sorry, they, they may not be adding that much to the economy. Now, I also agree with the idea of having a merit-based system. And I know that's going to piss off some of my, my, my liberal followers, um, but uh, I, I, I have a very hard time disagreeing with this um, so to amend the Immigration and Nationality Act to establish a skills-based immigration point system to focus family-sponsored immigration on spouses and minor children, to eliminate the diversity visa program, to set a limit on the number of refugees admitted annually to the United States, and for other purposes. And uh, so here it comes, uh, all this legalese stuff where it's just a striking paragraph adding and striking, subsection, uh, redesigning subsection, 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 paragraph, redesign, paragraph, inserting, subsection, by striking, paragraph, subsection, subsection, subparagraph. It's not giving the quotes, it's you're, you're having to, to reference the other document, the older documents, to know what this is doing. Purposely made kind of difficult, but then again, they might have to do that just to cover everything to cover all sides. So, yeah, more re redesigning subsection. Okay, here we go. The number of refugees who may be admitted under this section in any fiscal year may not exceed 50,000. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm sorry to, to those who, who are on the more liberal side, who are against any sort of restrictions on this. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, I think that there should be some restrictions. Sorry. Um, President shall annually enumerate the number of aliens who were granted asylum in the previous fiscal year. Um, more uh, by striking, uh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I know that's, that's changing who it is that handles things. I, I get it, but it's not in immediately uh, important as far as understanding what this bill does. So... By striking and yeah, changing the the, the 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 age. Case of parents, such citizens shall be at least twenty one uh, years of age. Okay, that's fair too. That's fair. Worldwide level of family sponsored immigrants under this subsection for fiscal year is equal to eighty eight thousand minus the number computed under paragraph two. The number computed under the do 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 do. This uh, did not depart from the United States without advance parole within six, within a year and did not acquire the status of an alien lawfully admitted to the United States for permanent residence during the two preceding fiscal years or required such status during such period under provision of law other than some section B that exempts the adjustment to such status from the numerical limitation on the worldwide level of immigration under this section and in subsection blah, 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 blah. Uh, section 203A of the Immigration Act is amended as follows. Spouses and minor children of per parent, uh, uh, permanent resident aliens, family-sponsored immigrants described in the subjects and are qualified immigrants who are the spouse of a child or an alien on, uh, lawfully admitted for permanent residence. 75% uh, of family-sponsored immigrants not subject to per-country limitation. The visa number is made available under Section 203A in any fiscal year. 75% shall be issued without regard to the numerical limitation under Paragraph 2. Do, 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 do. In any fiscal year, 25% shall be available in the case of a foreign state or dependent area that is subject to subsection E, only to the extent that the total number of visas issued in, in accordance with subparagraph A to natives of the foreign state or dependent area is less than the subsection E ceiling. So... Okay, so subsection C ceiling defined in clause. The term subsection ceiling means to, for a foreign state or dependent 
area, 77% of the maximum number of visas that may be made available under Section 203A to immigrants who are natives of a state or area consistent with subsection E and and uh, 2 by st- striking subsection sub paragraph C and D and do 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 period it no do 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 do, do. The initial period of authorized admission for a non-immigrant described in section uh, 101A15W shall be five years, but may be extended by the Secretary of Homeland Security for additional five-year periods if the United States citizen, son or daughter of the non-immigrant, is still residing in the United States. Non-immigrant described in section blah, 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 is not authorized to be employed in the United States and is not eligible for any federal, state, or local public benefit. Fair. That's fair. Regardless of the resources and a non-immigrant described in Section 101, the United States citizen, son or daughter who who sponsored the non-immigrant parent shall be responsible for the non-immigrant's support while the non-immigrant resides in the United States. An alien is ineligible to receive a visa or to be admitted into the United States as a non-immigrant described in that section unless the alien provides satisfactory proof that United States citizen son or daughter has arranged for health insurance coverage for the alien at no cost to the alien during the anticipated period of the alien's residence in the United States. Wait a minute here. Okay, I I, I see that. It's fair. No matter what amount of of money the person who is a non-immigrant, basically the person that is helping that non-immigrant out is the one that should be handling their 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 health insurance the amendments made to this section take down okay blah 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 paragraph blah 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 uh, uh the nationality act and i'd have to cross-reference all of these things in order for this to make more sense Seeking classification of an alien under family-sponsored immigrant category that was eliminated by the amendments made by this section, blah, 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 okay, yeah, blah, 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 who was granted admission, uh, section two, blah, 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 do, 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 not to exceed the number of specified, do, 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 no, no, do, 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 well, okay, that's not quite a do, 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 is it? Applicants with equal points and equal educational uh, attainment shall be ranked according to their respective English language proficiency test rankings. That's a weird one because we don't have an official language. It seems like this part would be, this section here would be difficult to implement because we don't have an official language. Now, that might be one of his next steps to declare English as our official language and then this here will make more sense, you know. Scribble. The scribble will make more sense. Okay, applicants with equal points, equal educational attainment, and equal English language proficiency test rankings shall be ranked according to their age, with applicants who are nearest their 25th birthday is being ranked higher. Um... That, that's a weird one. That, 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 this here could be messy. It could. Applications shall remain in the eligible applicant pool for 12 months. An applicant who is not invited to apply for a point-based immigrant visa, immigrant visa during the 12-month period in which the application remains in the eligible applicant pool may reapply for placement in the ab- eligible applicant pool. That's fair. So it doesn't work out uh, one year, you can try in the next year. So... Every six months, the Director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigrant Services shall invite the highest-ranked applicants in the eligible applicant pool in a number that is expected to yield 50% of the point-based immigrant visas authorized during Section 201D for the fiscal year, including spouses and dependent children accompanying or following to join the principal alien to file a petition for a points-based immigration visa, immigrant visa. Um, subject to subparagraph, da, 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 so, so let's see, shall award a points immigrants visa to any applicant invited to file a petition under subparagraph A who not later than 90 days after receiving such invitation files a petition with a director that includes valid documentation proving that the applicant is entitled to all of the points claimed and the application is submitted. Let me see something here. Okay. Uh, pursuant to paragraph 1, an a testation, a testation. Well, I'm, I'm assuming that. Just, okay, I'm assuming what that means based off of the the 
the roots of those words, from the prospective employer if available. I of the annual salary being offered the applicant and that the job being offered to, to the applicant is a new or vacant position that does not displace a United States worker. Okay, how do you do that? How, how is this going to... This, this, this seems messy. Proof that the applicant's United States employer has secured health insurance that meet all applic applicable regulations or evidence that the applicant has posted a bond to be used to purchase the health insurance described in subclause 1 and a fee in the amount of $345 I wonder why it's so specific like that. Anyway, uh, this, this disposition of petitions exceeding the annual numerical limitation, if the director receives a petition that complies with the requirements under subparagraph B after the numerical limitation set forth in section 201D has been reached for the applicable, applicable fiscal year, the director shall issue a points-based immigrant visa visa to the petitioner. Delay the admission into the United States of the petitioner and his or her spouse and children, if applicable, until the first day of the following fiscal year, and reduce the number of po points-based immigrant visas that may be issued during the following fiscal year accordingly. Visas for, visa for spouses and children. Spouse, the legal spouse of an applicant under this subsection who is accompanying or following to join the applicant in the United States shall be issued a points-based immigrant visa under this section upon the approval of the parent's petition under paragraph 2. Minor children. Any children of an applicant under this subsection who have not reached 18 years of age as of the date of, on which a petition is filed under paragraph 2 and are accompanying or following to join the applicant in the United States shall be issued a points-based immigrant visa under this section upon the approval of the parent's petition under paragraph 2. Dependent adult children. Any adult child of an applicant under this subsection who is made unable to care for himself or herself may be, ad may be admitted to the United States on a temporary basis until he or she is capable to care for him or herself, himself or herself, but may not be authorized to work in the United States or to receive any other benefits of permanent residence. What? Let me look at this. Any adult child of an applicant under this subsection who is made unable to care for himself or herself may be admitted into the United States on a temporary basis until he or she is capable to care for him or herself, but may not this, this but may not be authorized to work in the United States or to receive any benefits of permanent residence. That's weird. Um, that's that. This section is confusing to me. It, it starts out right, and then it gets to this and becomes confusing. Um, but it does seem like they're trying to cover things, so it, it's not being completely mean. So. Um, let's see. Inflation adjustments. The director shall adjust the amount of the fees required under paragraphs blah, 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 every two years as an appropriate to reflect inflation. Ineligibility for public benefits. Here we go. Important section of this, this document. An alien who has been in issued a points-based immigrant visa under this subsection and every member of the household of such alien shall not be eligible for any federal means-tested public benefit as defined and implemented in sections 403 of Personal Responsibility and Work Opportunity Reconciliation Act of 1996. So this here, some of these things are going to be difficult to understand unless I was to read this. So in subsection as redesigned by this other section by striking or B, B, Okay, so establishment of immigrant immigration points system. In general, Chapter Two of Title Two of the Immigration Nationality Act is two, 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 two. immigrant. Let's go. Let's let's jump to here. Immigration point system. English language proficiency tests. The term English language proficiency test means the international English language testing system. Um, IELTS. Hi, my name is IELTS. <laughs> fly. 
fly, you're going to die. You're going to still get in my face. All right. The fly. Oh, fly. Yes, fly. 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 All right, almost got him, but not quite. So, it's just basically, this is basically defining what a an English test would be, so. Uh, yes, 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 we didn't, yes, yes. High school, the term high school has the meaning given such term in section 8101 of the Elementary and Secondary Education Act of 1965. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's, it's making defi definite, it's de Okay, in general, an alien is eligible to submit an application for placement in the eligible applicant pool under sep section 2031 if the applicant has accru accrued a total of 30 points under this section. Uh, yeah, more, it's, 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 this is starting to get very, very redundant. Um, yes, that's, that's nice. You're defining what it means to be ages, one age through another. Yeah, congrats. An applicant may only accrue points for educational attainment under this, sep this section based on the highest degree obtained by the applicant as of the date in on which the applicant submits an application under a certain section. United States are foreign high school degree. Uh, an applicant whose highest okay, it's just basically giving more, yes, definitions of what of what these degrees are. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, let's see, an applicant whose English language proficiency test score is lower than the six decile. Oh, okay. Uh, rank shall not accrue any points under this subsection. Sixth and seventh deciles, if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, an applicant whose English language proficiency test score is the 6th or 7th decile uh, rank shall... Yeah, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's more just it's the legalese where they're just going on and on and on. I haven't seen anything awful in this bill. I've saw some, some confusing parts, but nothing generally awful. Let's see. Eight points of the annual salary... Okay, it's just talking about uh, the amounts. Let's see. Let's let's read this one. Eight points if the annual salary being offered by the applicant's prospective employer is at least 200% of the median household income in the state in which the applicant will be employed as determined by Secretary of Labor and less than 300% of such median household income and 13 points if the if the annual salary being offered by the applicant's prospective employer is at least 300% of the median household income in the state in which the applicant will be employed, as determined by the Secretary of Labor. Requirement! An applicant may not be placed in the eligible applicant pool under subsection, uh, that one, uh, 203B1, if A, the applicant has not received a degree higher than a bachelor's degree, and B, the applicant does not accrue any points under paragraph 1. All right, so investment in and active management of new commercial enterprise. In general, an applicant may accrue for f foreign investment under this subsection. Six points if the applicant agrees to invest in the equivalent of invest a million three hundred and fifty thousand in foreign currency in a new commercial enterprise in the United States. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Maintain. I mean, it's it's like uh, you know Trump trying to say he just got a, he got a small loan of a million dollars, right? Anyway, uh, maintain such investment for at least three years and play an art active role in the management of such commercial enterprise as the applicant's primary occupation. And twelve points if the applicant agrees to invest in the equivalent of one million eight hundred thousand in foreign currency in a new commercial enterprise in the United States, maintain such investment for at least three years, and play an active role in the management of such commercial enterprise as the applicant's primary occupation. Failure to maintain investment. A points-based immigration visa issued under Section 201B to an applicant who accrued points under this subsection shall be rescinded if the applicant fails to comply with the requirements under Paragraph 1 for a period in excess of a year. All right. 
Valid offer of admission under family preference category. Any alien who is granted admission to the United States under, subsec under Section 203A of the Immigration and Nationality Act, as in effect of the day before the date of the enactment of this act, shall be entitled to two points if the applicant was scheduled to receive an immigrant visa under the preference category and the applicant did not receive an immigrant visa during the one-year period beginning on the date of the en enactment of this act. Effect of spouse and accrual of, of points. In general, if an applicant has a spouse who will be accompanying or following to join the applicant in the United States, the applicant will identify the points that the spouse would accrue under each of the subsections through uh, C through E if he or she were applying for a points-based immigration visa. Points adjustment for each of the categories set forth in the subsections e, uh, uh, C through E. It was hard to read for just a moment because I'm looking at the smaller version of it in uh, OBS. So they almost, they almost both look the same. Anyway, uh, if the number of points that would be, be accrued by the spouse is the same or higher as the points accrued by the applicant, the number of points shall not be adjusted. Okay. Uh, yeah. Annual report. Not later than one year after the date of the enactment of this act and annually there, thereafter, the Secretary of Homeland Security shall submit a report to the Congress that includes for the previous fiscal year the number of visas issued under Section 203B of the Immigration and Nationality Act. And it's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. All right. Yeah. Not later than four years after the date of the enactment of this act, and every four years, there, the Secretary of Homeland Security, in consultation with the Secretary of Labor, the Secretary of Commerce, and the Secretary of State, shall submit a report to the Committee on the Judiciary of the State, the Committee on Foreign Relations of the State, the Committee on the Judiciary of the House of Representatives, and blah, 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 fucking blah. Jesus Christ. Prerequisite for naturalization. Section 318 of the Immigration and Nationality Act is amended by striking... Okay, more of that shit. All right. Um, outstanding debts. No person may be nationalized under this title if the individual who executed an affidavit of support with respect to the person has failed to reimburse the federal government in accordance with Section 213A. B! for all means-tested public benefits received by the person during the five-year period beginning on the date in which the alien was lawfully admitted for permanent residence. And uh, that's it. Okay.